Hello and welcome to this learning video. Here in this learning video, we are going to take a problem, of course, of different variety on the topic consistency of system of linear equations. So let us see what this problem says. So the problem says, test the consistency and solve this. Okay. So do you remember what we are doing in the problem like this? So follow the working rule. So what is the first step of the working rule? The first step of the working rule says, write down the matrix form. Okay. So you can write the matrix form is, the matrix form is, what is the matrix form? AX is equal to B. Say this is to be equation 1. That is, what is matrix A? Matrix A is 5, 3, 7, 3, 26, 2, 7, 2, 10. Operating on x, y, z is equal to b. What is b? 4, 9, 5. Okay, so the first step is over. You, you just have to write down the matrix form. What is the second thing? You have to find out the rank of coefficient matrix and rank of augmented matrix. So find out, write down the augmented matrix first and then find the rank. So you can write augmented matrix. Augmented matrix A augmented B, which we generally denoted by C, is equal to what is it? Write it down 5, 3, 7, 3, 26, 2, then 7, 2, 10. 4, 9, 5. Okay, so we have this augmented matrix. Now uh, make the targeted position 1. Uh, if you want uh, very uh, the calculations to be very simple, so you can make this 5 to be 1, but uh, no, not necessarily you have to make it. So what are the targeted position that you have to make 0? These are the targeted positions, not the targeted numbers. Okay, so to make this one zero, what we need to do? We need to change in R2. So R2 changes to, what is it? R2 changes to 5R2 minus 3 times R1. So this gives you C is equivalent to, what is it? 5 3, 7, 4, then 5, 3 is a 15 minus 15, 0, then here it is 26, 5 is a, 26, 5 is a 130, 130 minus 3, 3 is a 9, so this is 1 to 1, then 2, 5 is a 10 minus 21, that's minus 11, and here 9, 5 is a 45 minus 45 minus 12 is 33, right? Yeah. And then you have to make this position 0. So you need to change in R3. R3 changes to, what is it? 26. No, not 26. Sorry. <coughs> make use of R1. So to make this one 0, you just write 3 times R2 minus 2 times R1. So this will gives you, uh, oh sorry, we are making this 0, so this is 7 times, sorry, sorry, we are making a change in R3. So R3 means you have to make this position 0, so, so 5 times, 5 times R3 minus minus 7 times r1 right okay so this will gives you this will gives you 0 what does it gives you uh, 5 3 za sorry 5 into r3 so 10 minus 21 again minus 11 then it is 50 minus 49 that's 1 okay then at last what do you have 
5 times that 25 minus 28 so this is minus 3 so 0 minus 11 1 minus 3 okay now your next aim is to make this position 0 but as you can see uh, these calculations may affect uh, your uh, rank so let me solve it easily which is uh, r2 changes to r2 changes to r2 into 1 by 11 into 1 by 11 times r2 okay so this will gives you the c is equivalent to changing in r2 will gives you this first row as it is third row as it is 5 3 7 4 then second row we are changing 0 then 11 then minus 1 then 3 and here it is 0 minus 11 1 and here it is minus 3 okay now you can see this looks very easy so what you need to do is you need to make this element 0 and that can be done by adding the third row with the second one right so uh, this r3 changes to to make this position 0 r3 changes to r3 plus r2 and that will gives you what c equivalent to change in r3 so first two row as it is 5 3 7 4 then we have 0 11 minus 1 3 then r3 changes to 0 so 1 minus 1 0 and 3 minus 3 is also 0 okay now as you can see our criteria is fulfilled okay now what we need to do is we need to write down the rank so what is rank of matrix A number of non-zero rows 1 2 so rank of A is 2 what is rank of augmented matrix C rank of C is equal to R dash is equal to what is it again 2 and and n is equal to number of variables or unknowns number of unknowns is equal to how much is equal to 3 right so number of unknowns are also equal to 3 so here uh, okay number of unknowns is 3 so what you can see here is r is same as r dash but less than n so this implies system is consistent system is consistent consistent and have and have infinitely many solutions so system is consistent and it will have uh, infinitely many solutions so what we do here is we'll assign n minus r variables n arbitrary value so what is n n is 3 what is r r is 2 so n minus r is 1 so we'll assign one arbitrary value to one variable and rest of the answer would be in terms of that variable only okay so here you can write uh, one variable will be chosen okay one variable if you don't want to write uh, not an issue one variable will be chosen arbitrarily 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 okay r a r a l y say z is equal to k okay so see the equation one then uh, 1 implies ax is equal to b so what is a a is this 5 3 7 
0 11 minus 1 0 0 0 operating on x y z is equal to what is it 4 3 0 clear now what we are going to do is we are going to solve this equation in assigning the arbitrary value to z so this is 5x plus 3y plus 7z is equal to 4 then 11y minus z is equal to 3 and as I said we are going to apply the arbitrary value to z so this z is equal to k right now substitute in this equation 1 and 2 so 2 implies what does 2 implies 11y is equal to 3 plus z 3 plus z what is z k so y is equal to y is equal to k plus 3 by 11 and when you substitute this value in 1 so in 1 what you will be getting you will be getting 5x so 5x plus 3 into y y just we have found out k plus 3 by 11 plus 7 z z is k is equal to 4 so, so solving this what you will be getting x is equal to take all the terms of this k on the one side and the other on the other side so this is 7 minus 16 k by 11 so I am writing this uh, value from the book so you can just uh, write it, try to solve it and check whether you are getting this value or not. So you are getting this, at last you just have to write the required solution is the required solution is, what is it? x is equal to 7 minus 16k by 11 y is equal to k plus 3 by 11 and z is equal to k so this is nothing but the required solution for the given problem okay so I hope this problem is clear to you so thank you for watching this learning video and in the last learning video, uh, sorry, in the next learning video, we are going to take a problem on the same topic, but with a, again different variety of problem. So thank you and happy learning.